the bottomless calabash. Ojo was a poor farmer who lived in a small village at the edge of a dense forest. Every day, he would go into the forest to gather firewood and hunt for small game to feed his family. But one day, as he was wandering deep into the forest, he stumbled upon a shiny, golden calabash lying amidst the underbrush. Ojo had never seen anything like it before. The calabash was smooth and gleaming, and it seemed to emit a strange glow that illuminated the entire area. He picked it up and examined it closely, marveling at its beauty and the way it caught the light. He carefully wrapped the calabash in a cloth and took it home with him, eager to share his newfound treasure with his family. One day, as Ojo's wife was cleaning the calabash, a small root that she was chewing on accidentally fell inside it. To her amazement, the calabash immediately filled up with delicious, hot, and steaming food. She was ecstatic, jumping up and down with excitement. Ojo, look at this. Look at what we have found. This is amazing, she exclaimed, barely able to contain her excitement. Ojo was equally thrilled by the discovery. However, he felt that they should share their newfound gift with the entire village. They had been struggling to make ends meet, and he knew that this calabash could be a real blessing for everyone. But his wife was hesitant. She worried that if they shared this secret, too many people would come to know about it, and it would lose its magic. She also feared that they would be flooded with requests and demands from the villagers, making it hard for them to keep the calabash for themselves. Despite her reservations, Ojo believed that their newfound gift was not only for their benefit but also for the good of the whole community. At first, everything was simple and smooth sailing. People from the village would line up at Ojo's door, waiting for their turn to be served by the magic calabash. Ojo and his wife were happy to see their neighbors' faces light up as they savored the delicious food. However, not everyone in the village was happy with the situation. Ade, their greedy neighbor, was envious of Ojo's newfound wealth and the admiration he was receiving from the community. Ade felt that he deserved to be the one to distribute the food supply and gain the village's admiration. Ade devised a plan to steal the calabash from Ojo. He knew that he couldn't do it alone, so he convinced a few of his cronies to help him. One night, when Ojo and his wife were fast asleep, they sneaked into his house and stole the magic calabash. As Ade got home, he was filled with excitement. Without wasting any time, Ade put a piece of yam inside the calabash. However, as soon as he dropped it, a snake came out hissing and almost struck him. Ade was horrified and frozen with fear. He couldn't believe what he had just witnessed. His wife, who was nearby, heard the commotion and rushed over to see what was going on. When she saw the snake and heard what had happened, she was filled with terror. She begged Ade to take the calabash back to Ojo. Ade sheepishly went to Ojo's house to return the calabash, apologizing profusely for his actions. Ojo and his wife were surprised to see Ade returning the calabash in the middle of the night. However, they were happy to have it back and did not question Ade about his change of heart. Ojo and his wife continued to share the calabash's bounty with the entire village, living a peaceful and contented life. The story of the magic calabash is a timeless tale that has been passed down from generation to generation in Nigeria. It is a reminder that our actions have consequences, and that what we put out into the world is what we get back. Thank you for watching our story, and we hope you enjoyed it. What lessons did you draw from this story? Share them with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Tales of the Savannah for more exciting stories. Thank you for watching, we will see you next time, in the Savannah.